could use technology as a substitution for something as just you're still doing the same thing, um, but now you're just doing it on an iPad. Or you could integrate it where you're creating things, where you're doing things that you could never do otherwise. Um, and those are the lessons that I learned through the staff development and the trainings that I've been through. Um, and those are the ones that really matter to me. We put five and we split up. They're going to do the explain everything video and we're, um, we're going to do the, um, the Animoto. And I don't know how, but we're going to put it all together in an iPad. You know, they were empowered. They're like, we can do this. And so when we finished Rainforest, we wrapped it up and they're like, we can do things. We can make things that matter and create things um, that, you know, can make a difference and that people are seeing and that the world is seeing. I keep stepping up the bar and they keep meeting it or surpassing it. Took a picture uh, of the yeah, picture and, and we're going to put it on yeah. Explain Everything and we're going to read our scripts that we yeah. did. Like these and scripts. And we're gonna like describe what how it is and like what it solves the problem about. Yeah. You they're up, they're out of their desks, they're moving around, they're talking to people they might not have talked to all year in a another class, right? Or or had these interactions with. And um, the, if you listen to the con the back and forth conversations, it's amazing the educational things that are happening, whereas it looks at oh they're just in a group talking. You know, they're really hitting high levels of critical thinking, they're creating things, they're inventing things, and there's an extreme pride of ownership. We have five, three, Natalie, and six. A problem that's facing the oceans, and so we're making inventions. You start by entering the letter B. B. Natalie, thank you for sending me your answer. Choices and they are much better at explaining what's going on because they're speaking it, they're doing it, than if we're just taking a test and writing it on a paper. I have an entire essay on this iPad and it's like in my council. If I wanted to put it on every iPad in the school, I could have it on every iPad in the school. Okay. Well, I like just watching them work together. So watching them with all their notes that they took and sort of, you know, guiding each other and helping each other when somebody didn't know how to do something, um, another group would help them. first step that they'll do is they will recreate the moon phase in the way that it looks using a styrofoam ball and a flashlight. My big aha moment was don't be afraid to try it because they're not <laughs> and it's okay if I make mistakes. I'm learning with them and it's so exciting. We're, we're learning together and I'm not afraid to let the kids just go for it. It's time for the kids to explore and learn and find things and make mistakes and share with each other and it has really breathed new life into my teaching as well as the students learning. It's so exciting. We've been looking at ways to really not just to look at equipment but to really look at how can we think about how teachers can instruct differently. So what will the benefit be in the classroom beyond just having the shiny object that's there. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll buy an object or we'll buy a device and it, we say we want this device but we really don't think about how is it going to shape instruction. What are we going to do differently and how will kids be able to access information differently? And really that's been a big discussion at my school site. With the equipment that we're looking at, what do we want the kids to be able to do differently? Do we want them to simply be able to work process? Do we want them to be able to manipulate information? Do we want them to be able to go to the internet? And I think that's been a big piece and driving force as to our vision as to wanting computers in the classroom. 
So knowing that kids can access information at their fingertips, beyond this, the simple example of, you know, when a teacher asks a question and they say, um, why don't you look up that for tonight for homework and get back to us, that conversation can happen immediately. Also in the classroom, teachers are taking risks, they're collaborating, they're taking release time, they're planning before school and after school and vacation breaks, and they're really trying to figure out how they can incorporate more of those technologies into the classroom, beyond just saying they're doing it, but really enhancing the learning that's taking place. And they really um, help each other out tremendously, because some kids it comes very naturally to, and others it's a little bit more of a struggle. And so right away somebody's helping somebody else, of the sound like oh I got it is just probably the best sound you can hear because then it becomes infectious the next kid all of a sudden yeah me too I got it I got it and somebody else says oh I don't have it and they all rush over to go help that person and then they're on their way to something else